was just a normal Saturday in Marathon and uh, around the long time the people were just walking around, doing shopping, going in some restaurants. And suddenly the first bomb exploded just in front of McDonald's. After this first explosion, the people just run away, screaming, going in the other direction. And suddenly, the next explosion also happens, just in this next place, when everybody just run away. Everywhere. It was just chaotic. Mothers, babies, fathers. Nobody could find anybody. There was a lot of casualties, there were a lot of people staggering around, obviously shocked, there was a lot of smoke in the air, and the bins themselves where the bombs were are cast iron, and the explosive force didn't appear to go upwards, it actually appeared to go outwards, similar to a grenade, I should imagine, and it literally was shrapnel. Three years old, Jonathan just died in the place, he was with his baby sister, and the baby sister was just shot in the back, and mother's day cats, and uh, in the place of this explosion. And uh, Jonathan, with 12 years old, also uh, died because of this tragedy. And uh, he was taken to the hospital, but he died five days later. Dolores from the Crane Bellis, she was very and deeply affected by this tragedy. She was in Dura at that time and she saw in TV the news and she also saw one of the mothers just talking to me and uh, she feels so terrible about this and uh, she even uh, spoke about that the thing that really make her feel bad is because Ida, the responsible for this attack, they are saying that they made this uh, because of Ida, they made this in the name of Ida and uh, in her song, Zombie, she will put very clear She's saying that this is not me, this is not my family, this is what she means. She means that this Ira don't represent me, Ira is not me, Ira is not my family, and Ira is not speaking in the name of the island. Ira is just some stupid guys doing this terrible thing. The personal response of the death of these two kids, the guitar player, the guitarist, Noel, he was saying that uh, this sound, the guitar sound, should be very heavy. If it was soft, it was not to, to have the same impact that this song should have. And the Zombie was released in 1994 and becomes the biggest selling single of this Cranberries and uh, reached number one in Germany, in Australia, in French, and uh, many other countries. And at that time, also, uh, the lyrics, uh, they received so much criticism about it, you know, and uh, people are saying that she was thinking sides and this kind of things, but uh, she told this, she spoke about this in one interview, when she was saying that uh, she, she don't care if this is Catholic, she don't care if this is Protestant or whatever, she, just make the song because she was feeling so bad about the two kids who was dead because of this. She, she really don't, don't care about size, she didn't make this song because she's from Ireland, she's from England or whatever. She just make this because what really happened with that kid. This is not the only tragedy behind this song. Five years ago, Dolores, she was in her hotel room and she was going to reprise her vocals for the band Bad Wolves to do a new cover of this zombie song. But she actually drowned herself in the back of the hotel room and she died. So at that time, at the first moment, Bad Wolves they didn't know what to do with this terrible situation. But they chose to do it the same way the new cover of the song. They did their vocals and 
and uh, they release this song. And uh, how the money, how the proceeds they make with this new cover, they just don't make anything. 